Okay, we're going to go over the hookup of the system. Uh, you're going to end up racking this in a, in a rack mount case. Uh, so I just put this together uh, real quick and so forth. I'll start at the bottom. I have the two speaker cables, the white. Actually, the white is the positive, and the black is the ground, and it has a knob that shows its ground. So you run it just like that. And same thing with this. White is for the red. Then you have two extra speaker cables that you could hook up. Just to get this done, I hooked up a couple of the players right into this, but you'll be going into a power surge. As you go over to the left here, you'll notice that there's two rings here. These were originally in here. I took these out so I could hook up the processor. So the way the processor goes is you go out into the processor, back out of the processor, and into the effects. Then over here you'll see that I have the karaoke player set up on DVD. There's a couple of those cables I talked about. All you got to do is take these two cables, hook it here and here, and in the front you'll change to whatever source you want to use. You'll notice that I put the RCA cable for the video. The back of the player has the RCA video. Goes to here, which coincides with DVD. And then all you got to do is get another RCA cable, because I'm not sure how you're going to hook this up to your system. I did not talk about the video cables, but you have the RCA for this, and then, of course, whatever uh, laptop you're using and so forth. Uh, if you look at the player, I have the audio left and right, right here. You also have the ability to do VGA. We already talked about the hookup on the processor. And then your wireless microphones. I separated the signal. These two are going out to the front of the unit. And then you look at the back of the speaker. Just simple plug-in. Now we'll go around to the front of the system. Okay, you have your karaoke mixing amplifier, your karaoke player, the processor, and the microphones. When you rack this, you're going to rack it a little bit different and so forth. When you power up the unit, you want to power up the amplifier last, and then when you're powering it down, you want to power it down first. Okay, this is where your two microphone inputs are. This handles your microphone one and two for your wireless, and then the third one for the corded mic, and then in the back there's another input that you can utilize. You'll notice in the front it says DVD, VCD, Auxiliary, BGM. So right now it's on DVD for the player, then if you hook up your laptop, then you can hook up an iPod. Over to the right here, this allows you to change the key of the song, but when you use the software on your laptop, you probably won't use this. Then from left to right you have your music, bass, mid, treble. Then you have the microphones for bass, mid, treble. I already set it to a, to a pretty decent sound. Then you have your individual volume control of your microphones. Then as you go over to the right here, you have the amount of echo and the way you set it in. Even the echo has adjustment on bass, mid, and treble. And it has a repeat and delay. So you can mess around with this and change it. Up here is if you get feedback, you could go ahead and adjust this to try to take some of the feedback out. When you power this amplifier up and down, it automatically resets. Here, I'll show you. We'll just power it down, power it back up, and these knobs are set to auto reset. What it does is it's actually putting it in protection mode, and what happened is I possibly just turned it off too quickly and turned it back on, didn't give it time. But on the back, there's a switch that turns it on and off. Then you have your karaoke player, just self-explanatory, pop in the karaoke disc and you're good to go. Here's your processor. You're not currently using this, but if you ever get a powered sub, you'll hook it up in the back to go out to the powered sub. So right now you have your low and your high contour. You always want to make sure this is pressed in. And then you have your wireless mics. I set the volume right here, but you're going to control from down there. Of course, these charge when you press them in. You'll notice that it charges here. And when they're fully charged, it will turn green. What you typically want to do is you want to be able to set these for at least 24 hours 
before you use them. Make sure that this is tight, which it is right now, but just in case you ever are using it and it doesn't uh, work, you want to check that as well. As far as running the microphones, check one, two, check one, two. You'll notice I put a little bit of echo in it, but if I end up, let's say, you got the kids around and you want to make it sound funny, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. And of course you have your volume, check one, two, check one, two. I recommend that you actually, the mics are going to be down, you'll turn them up when you get it. You want to make sure your mic volume is probably right here. Same thing with the echo. That's a brief overlay on how to hook the system up and operate it.